guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Hey, welcome to the shop. I'll have a shop tour for you eventually. So I brought uh, my drill press and my bandsaw back yesterday. But um, anyhow, what this video is about is these uh, hex driver bits. Okay, they go in your drill, right? And you got a screwdriver bit on each end. Could even have sockets on them, you know. Uh, but anyways, sometimes what happens, they get wet, you get neglectful, like all of us guys do once in a while, and you get them full of rust. So as you can see, this is really full of rust bad. And uh, to clean them up, you just need a wire brush. Uh, now I've got mine on a drill press, so if you've got a bench grinder with a wire brush, this is going to work the exact same way, except instead of on the horizontal plane, you'll be on a vertical plane. And uh, what you want to do is have the drill running in the forward direction, okay, so it's going against the direction of your brush, okay, your wire brush. And this is a fine brush. You don't need to use a coarse brush. Fine brush is just fine. So let's fire this up. Now you've seen how dirty this is. This is disgusting. Oh, my battery's dying. Hang on. Fresh battery. Now in the case of a flat blade, you'll want to stop it on the flat. on one side, flip it over, now this has a star on this end, I just go full bore with the drill, That's it. So we've got a uh, really nice clean bit now. No more rust. Almost looks new again. And that's guys how it's done. Now I also have uh, these adapters too that you can put sockets on. Same process with them. Okay, this one's already cleaned up. The same thing, every drill bit you've got for screwdriver bits you do that with. As far as cleaning up an actual drill bit goes, if you've got one that's pretty rusty, uh, including spade bits. Spade bits are wonderful. Um, you can actually use these in the drill, but what I would recommend of course is because these are so flat and chunky, I'd uh, do this. Get that as clean as you can. Over to the other side. Get the edges. side of this. Hold it in your hand very carefully. And don't apply rough pressure. Even when you're doing your uh, regular bits, don't use a lot of pressure. You don't need to. And so now we got a really good uh, spade bit again. That's it. That's all there is to it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Feel free to leave your comments. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.